Good morning. What's going on, everybody? We are back in the kitchen, and it's been a while, so I figured I would make the loaf again. All right, a little different this time because I am in the off season, putting on the size, so the ingredients close to the same, little different macros, a little higher fats, uh, but um, pretty much the same. Let's get into it. So, uh, I'm gonna start it off. I still get questions on this on my Instagram all the time, so figured why not make another video. I do a cup of oats. Just quick oats. All right, the quick oats absorb a lot better and make a much better texture in this loaf, all right? So um, definitely prefer using the quick oats over like steel cut or anything like that. Just doesn't uh, break down and absorb and make the batter as well. So one cup of egg whites, and that's not quite enough. I'll have to get another container out, but once again, I use the yellow ones, all right? It's the same macros, zero fat, uh, five protein per uh, three tablespoons. A cup is about five egg whites. So that's that. And then right now I'm doing four whole eggs, all right? So like I said, a little higher fats in the off season. Um, not crazy amount of carbs. I will go a lot higher carbs on other meals throughout the day, more rice, um, throw in even a little bit of like bread and stuff like that. But with the breakfast, this is a very filling meal. So instead of just super high volume with more oats or carbs or anything like that, I just uh, prefer doing an extra whole egg in there. Get a little more fats in there. So that's what we're doing. So you saw I did one cup of, got a little shell in there. Who oh, no. knew? All right, got that. Saved. All right, you saw I did one cup of uh, oats. So I'm also gonna do a cup of water. That gives the oats something to soak up. It doesn't soak up the egg whites that well. So we got that. And for the extra flavor, we got a little pink salt and cinnamon. Gotta have the cinnamon in there. All right, so I'm gonna give that a quick blend real fast with just that. Once that's just stirred up, now I'll add my blueberries. Now, I started doing this just because I was lazy, but I actually enjoy it this way now. Um, during prep, you know, you just are low in energy, you start getting lazy with things. But started adding my blueberries directly into the blender now, and it actually works really well. I used to do it separate. I would make this mix, pour it in the container, cook it half the time, then add the blueberry. It was too much work. All right, so this makes it easy and it tastes awesome. So I'm doing 100 grams of blueberries, 103. All right, so I'm just gonna blend this and then we'll pour it in the container. All right, nice and blended. And I'm just gonna get a big Tupperware container like this and just pour the mix in. Now, I will say, I still believe it works a little bit better if you make this mix at night, stick the whole thing in the fridge and it kind of thickens up into a little bit of a, more of a batter overnight, like overnight oats. But uh, if you don't, it works perfectly fine this way as well. Uh, and I forgot to do it last night. So doing it this morning and it still comes out perfectly good. Just uh, I think there's just a touch better if you let it sit in a fridge overnight and thicken up, but this is amazing as well. All 
All right, it's all in the container. All I'm gonna do, straight in the microwave for about 10 minutes. All right, if you have a smaller batter, obviously you probably don't need 10 minutes, but with this mixture, that's about perfect time. Um, and once again, you can make this to your own specifications. Uh, this is what I'm doing right now. When I start dieting, it usually goes to more like uh, seven egg whites, two whole eggs, uh, bring the fats down a little bit, keep the protein high. Um, I've done it before where I was only getting a half a cup of oats. So make it to your spec specifications, whatever your macro requirements call for, but it's a great way to mix up rather than just cooking some eggs in a pan, eating the oats on the side. This keeps it interesting. All right. It's actually been more than 10 minutes, but I only had the microwave running for 10 minutes, but I went out of the garage and did my cardio while it was going. But anyways, technically it's good to go right then and there. It's done. Personally, I like it a little overdone. Um, so after I flip it, I throw it back in for just a few minutes. And it'll really just, it's done now, but it's got a little moisture like over the top, where the, which was the bottom in here and stuff like that. And I just like it to be really more like a bread loaf. So a couple more minutes after flipping it, really kind of makes it feel a little bit more like a bread loaf. And you'll see that when I pull it out. And while it's in this time, I'm done with my cardio, I'm gonna do my stretching routine for the morning and then it'll be good to go. And voila, it is done. So, now we have a beautifully cooked loaf. And I'll just put a little bit of sugar-free syrup on here and it's good to go. Now look at that. And the green color obviously <laughs> might be a little weird to some people, but it's just because I use the yellow egg whites and then the blueberries mixed together. That's how it comes out. But obviously if you don't use the blueberries with the yellow egg whites, throw a banana in there or strawberries or something like that. It would come out looking a little different, but it's delicious and really helps me get down the food when you get sick of just eating regular eggs, egg whites, oats and blueberries on the side. Sometimes I still like to switch it up back to that just because, you know, you want to change things up a little bit, but I can do this probably 80, 90% of the year. So I'm going to enjoy breakfast time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you give it a try. Let me know. See you next time.